Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this uh, video. We have an Asus laptop here that has a bad DC jack. Uh, the DC jack is uh, pretty loose and hopefully when I get the board out we can show you that a little bit better. But it is a Asus V551L laptop. And let's uh, take this thing apart. So there are one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws that look like they need to come out. So let's let's take those out. Okay, we got the uh, screws out, and this thing's set up kind of like. Some of the Max were top row of screws, and these two screws seem to be uh, longer than the bottom row of screws. So if you are taking one of these apart, definitely be mindful of what screws go where. Because if you were to put the long screws in the bottom here, they'd probably pierce through the top of the, the case, and uh, that wouldn't be good because then you have to replace that. But now let's see if we can just pry this thing open. Hopefully it's one of these newer style laptops where just the bottom comes up which you know seems to be the case in a lot of these newer laptops but all right let's see if we just get our pry tool in here okay seems to be Coming up pretty decently. Come on. All right. That was simple. So the jack is right here, and it looks like we will need to take most of this thing apart to get the motherboard out of here. So let's start doing that. I'm going to unhook the battery, which looks to be this connector. Okay, and it just, so it doesn't slide in, it doesn't uh, clip in, it just kind of clamps down. Which again, that's similar to some Max. All right. Got three screws here that are for the battery, it looks like. Let's get rid of those. batteries out so I'm just gonna put that aside and I'm gonna put those three screws on top of the battery that's kind of how I like to try and keep track of these types of things okay so this touchpad connector can come up Like we got the CMOS battery under there and the speaker connector right there. That can can come out. There we go. CMOS battery can stay. All right. Looks like that hinge is gonna have to come up. The LCD connector is gonna have to come up. Um, I'm thinking the RAM might be under there, but. That should be able to stay. Uh, 
optical drive is going to have to come up and this daughter board that's holding the hard drive in here is going to have to come out which looks like the whole hard drive might have to come out with it or first so let's go take the wires for the wireless antennas off, route them away. There we go, we can get the CD drive out. work on getting this hard drive out. Now if you're if working on a laptop that you know you've never taken apart before it's just you know always a good idea just you know take your time look at everything before just jumping right in because you know it may be slower and you may want you know feel like you need to get the job done quicker but you know slower will actually save you time because it'll keep you hopefully from making mistakes all right okay so those two screws a little bit smaller. That is up. I'm just gonna hopefully just leave the screws right there. Hopefully they won't move anywhere. Okay, what else? Let's take care of this hinge. Luckily, if I forget where a screw goes. Can always just pause this and rewatch it, so that's kind of good. Alright, we're gonna see if we can pry this up. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay. LCD connector is up out of the way. Okay, so now let's just take out all the screws that we see. Screw under here. And uh, by these screws, there's little white triangles to indicate that there's a screw there. So that's good. So we're just gonna keep looking for those and just take out the screws. Okay. Looks like we got them all out, and awesome. Board is up. We have to disconnect the keyboard. Okay. Really tiny board. Looks like it's got some RAM soldered to the board right there. So I don't know, is this RAM underneath here?
So yeah, there's RAM underneath there. So, which you just, you know, if you're gentle, you that just pries up. Now I gotta pry it all back together. But all right, let me move the, um, the case out of the way and get a better look on this board and we'll continue fixing it. Okay, so now we are, here's the board out and a little close up view on the jack. Um, these little anchor points all need to come out so that we can replace this jack. So what I'm gonna start with is, first I'm just going to apply some solder to all these joints to help the joints uh, flow better when we go to desolder it. It's actually pretty hard to do standing up because I can't really see between the camera and the angle I'm trying to work at. So let me see if I can fix that. Okay, that's a little bit better. So now I'm gonna apply some flux. And grab my desoldering gun and see if we can remove this jack painlessly. Looks like most of it's out. Let's see if this thing will come loose. Yeah, it's still still in there. These two anchor pieces are a little bit bigger than the the nozzle on this desoldering gun. So let's see if we can put these in there and get this out. I'm actually going to apply a little bit more solder to these anchor parts on the end here. who've sucked up a little bit more solder. Okay, let's see if this thing's ready to come out now. Almost, what's holding it in? Which pin? I think this pin right, right there. Let's see. Okay. 
actually did come loose. Let's see. Let me get you a good look at that center pin here. Oh, if you heard that. And that's why the center pin is loose, because where it bends and goes into the board, broke off. So the way this jack is set up, I really don't think we would have been able to apply solder to the center pin to fix it. So really the only choice is to replace the whole thing. All right, so let's get a little bit of alcohol and a toothbrush and clean up this area. Actually, see, is there any solder left over? Hmm. Now, nah, looks like it's should be pretty good. the new jack I'm just gonna place it in there flip it over Maybe. see if we're gonna rest it on top of that screwdriver right there so, yeah that should be nice and tight okay time to apply some flux and then just solder this bad boy in. Right, take a look, see if I can get a better look at this. See how these joints look. Clean that one up. Clean that one up. This one looks pretty good. the other side. Looks like the solder flowed through pretty good. Let me just get a closer look. Yeah. Looks like a pretty good connection. Alright. Time to put some alcohol in here and Clean it up. Just kind of clean the, the flux off of here. Make it look nice. Okay, so got the case back here so I'm just going to plug in the keyboard flip the board over 
and just kind of start lining it up. Okay, get all the connectors out of the way. Something's holding it up. Let's... There we go. The board is in. Now we just gotta screw in some of the screws. Okay, so we got this thing all back together. Charger plugged in. You can see we got the battery charging light. And we have power. So it's booted up, it's booting into Windows. Looks like it should be good, so we'll leave it on for a little while, see how well the battery charges, you know, things like that. But this thing appears to be uh, good to go now. So, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, until next time, thanks.